Welcome to Heal It and to another video where we're going to be talking about fraud in the health industry and trusting people and kind of about white lies and really serious lies that you shouldn't be making, you know. You like that girl, huh? Maybe, maybe just a little bit. Have you cleaned your room up today? Yes. Yeah, mom. Would I, would I lie to you, mom? You know me. Can I just first ask for anybody who's not in the homework to put their hand up? I think maybe my dog ate it. I've come across an article, basically it's about a 23 year old a woman called Betty Gibson. Basically she blogged and faked terminal brain cancer and that she cured herself with natural like remedies. And just kind of wanted to point out there because you don't really hear this every day. I mean, she launched a successful app, a cookbook called The Whole Pantry, but later admitted like the diagnosis was completely made up, you know, and that kind of brought her a lot of success. She even promised to give huge donations, shares of the money she made, where no money went to charity, and she just profited it all for herself. She reportedly admitted to the Australian Woman's Weekly magazine that none of her claims were true. She said, If I don't have an answer, then I'll sort of theorise it myself and come up with one. I think that's an easy thing to often revert to if you don't know what the answer is. I mean, I'm all for people like, trying to promote alternative, healthy food, healthy food, alternative living, you know, a better lifestyle. But don't like sell somebody hope and then you know throw that hope in their bin which they may have just got from you, you know? Yeah. I'm really passionate like when like there's doctors sometimes who've kind of gone through the illness they they're teaching about or when people who've really gone through it what they say they've gone through. Like try to then give feedback and advice to people who are currently going through it because only when you're really going through crap do you really get forced to develop and learn as a person because you know if, if everything's good you just kind of go along with it but when you're in pain and dying do you really think outside the box and start questioning yourself and what you're doing and your life and stuff so like when someone's just come so ignorantly 23 so has like like no life experience and when they've just read some like gluten-free this or that online kind of superficially like how the hell can they tell us who are really suffering what to do like they have no no common respect for humans no intelligence no no just no boundaries i mean like when where do you stop like in life i mean when it comes to like making money because this is essentially what it's just come down to it's just like the worst kind of cowboy kind of builder kind of weed a dealer scam i hope just this gets the coverage it needs to get so that like similar things online can be like prevented i mean i've had a crone since i was 10 10 years old i'm 23 now like you know what i mean and uh, you don't just fake that you get it like for a reason or something and then it's down to us to try to you know live with it the best we can quite genuinely these people on social media their their mission really is to kind of give hope to people that like no matter what's happening you know they can get through it i mean that's the main reason that's the only reason i do this you know because i know what i've gone through and i would i'd love to have had some support and it's just great helping people, it gives you a great feeling, but to completely take a poo on that is just, you know, and especially now, the stories come out, all the thousands of followers she had, you know, I mean, I don't know how they'd feel, I mean, it's, that's the biggest shame, you know, like, you know, she's gonna get, she's getting fined for like, for half a million pounds, for up to half a million pounds at the moment, but you, you know, up there people like they're gonna have lost some faith you know and it may not be good for their like disease their cancer 
whatever they're going through, just be careful who you trust. You know, I mean, can you really trust them? Look at their videos from the very beginning, their photos from the beginning. I mean, ask them straight up, you know, awkward questions, like on social, and like make your mind up for yourself and don't, don't believe and trust anybody, unfortunately, you know. Um, there is a lot of scams out there. I remember when I had like what, Crohn's and it was really bad. Like my mum, she'd go online and she'd find like alternative therapies. We bought several books, aloe vera's, like PDF ebooks, and well, a few of them were definitely, definitely like hoaxes. You know, we bought like one like ebook for like like fifty quid or something, and then basically the whole book was just a load of garbage. And then at the end, it was basically just like you know, eat the eat the peelings of an apple like several times a day from several apples. The peelings and that will cure you and stuff like this is ridiculous. And once we go back to complain or something, these are the like the worst kind of like scams. The site wouldn't even exist. But basically, it's the internet. It provides a lot of opportunity for people. Man. But like, damn, these people. These... Like, there's one quote like my grandmother used to always say: "It's like one animal will live off the other animal." You know, and that's a shame. Like, hopefully, we can all live. I, I really believe in the community and stuff, and that's not how I like to think at all. But you gotta be careful. Despite this, I just want to say like the internet is a great place to learn about your condition, meet loads of other people which understand you more, like like stay in contact with kind of a support group. I mean, there's so many positives. It's opened my eyes so much. So like, definitely got to, like keep the perspective that you know you got just be kind of mindful of what you're reading. But you gotta still keep looking, sharing, you know, keeping in contact with information out there. So you can kind of try to be your very best. And there's no shame in admitting that. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment what you think. What's the worst fraud like you've come across? Have you ever seen this before? What do you think? I mean, do you think it's acceptable? But apparently now she's gonna get prosecuted for allegedly breaking Australian consumer law and you know it's going to be very interesting I've checked up on the law apparently it, you can get up to three years in prison thanks for watching like share subscribe and see you next time